All right, today we're going to be talking about how to charge the credit card fee to the client um, in Clio using the Gravity Legal Clio integration. Here I've got uh, all of my Clio bills uh, syncing to Gravity Legal. Let's say it's time to bill clients. Now I can select all unpaid bills or I can select certain bills. For this demo, I'm just going to select certain bills. These are both for one particular client. So I'm going to click review and send selected. This happens to be a trust request and an invoice with Gravity, the Clio Gravity Legal integration. You can send clients both in the same email and the client will be able to pay all outstanding um, and that money gets split and deposited into the proper account there. So let's send this out. And you can also bulk send too if you don't want to edit uh, each individual email that's going out to the clients. Let's go to email here. I'm gonna look at this new invoice. So here, I've got my trust request here and my invoice here. The client can view those invoices and they render exactly as they would in Clio. Or I can click, I can pay them individually or I can click pay all. I'm just gonna go ahead and do that. Perfect. So this is the total amount due between the invoice and the trust request. And we can see that there's messaging here saying that we impose a surcharge if you pay by credit card. And I'm going to go ahead and enter a credit card. And you can see that in this case, it's charging an extra 172.68 for a new total. So it shows the surcharge and it shows the new total. If I want to go, if I'm the client, I don't want to pay that. I can always, for example, go and click ACH, enter my account number and routing number, same day ACH system. So you get those deposits the same day if the transaction is processed in the morning. Now we'll go back here and we'll actually make this make this payment so you can see what it looks like. And as I said before, this is a trust request and an invoice. So this is actually gonna split the transaction into two and you can see that this $5,000 uh, deposited into trust and 928.68 uh, went into operating. So this is the total invoice amount plus that uh, surcharge amount here that's going into your operating account to reimburse you for the, the credit card fee on that transaction. So that's how to charge the credit card fee automatically to the client at the time of payment. And it's also not going to impact, um, I should say, the amount of the invoice in Clio or the trust request. So you'll still uh, show a trust request in this case of $5,000 paid in Clio, as well as an invoice of $756 paid. So that surcharge amount here is all tracked separately. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at support at gravitylegal.com. Thanks a lot.